Los Angeles. It's the Tom Micah Show. Huh? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Is the world going insane or what? Is it? In the wake of uh, the Janet Jackson Super Bowl incident, is the world going nuts? I don't get it. This from the Los Angeles Times. Under intense scrutiny, following Janet Jackson's breast-bearing performance during last week's Super Bowl, MTV has quietly plucked a number of its edgiest music videos out of its daytime rotation. The Viacom Incorporated uh, owned cable network, which produced the Super Bowl halftime extravaganza, notified several major record companies last week that at least eight of their videos would now be played only during overnight programming, generally between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., sources said. MTV shifted most of the videos, including recent clips from such acts as Britney Spears, Maroon 5, and Blink-182, because of their sexual content. But the list also included a politically charged clip from the rock band Incubus. The video for the song Megalomaniac depicts an Adolf Hitler character, the angel's wings flying over a crowd, and later shows a nameless politician ordering police to halt the protest. Apparently all because of Janet Jackson. That's running after 10 o'clock at night. That's it. An MTV spokeswoman confirmed the move, but downplayed the idea that the channel was engaging in self-censorship. We support the creative community, but we have to take into account what's in the culture right now, she said. It's part of our responsibility as broadcasters. MTV is not broadcast. It's on cable. And they can show anything they want on cable. Uh, as in South Park, which runs on Viacom's Comedy Central, or Queer as Folk, or The L Word, that run on Viacom's Showtime. I mean, you can run anything you want on cable. Anything. The FCC only regulates broadcasting, not cable channels. That's the fact check. Says here, the Jackson episode touched off a firestorm of protest and prompted a national dialogue over indecency on television. On Friday, the Federal Communications Commission reported that upset TV viewers had filed more than 200,000 complaints about Jackson's act in which part of her clothing was ripped off by singer Justin Timberlake. FCC Chairman Michael K. Powell has vowed a complete investigation of the incident branding it, quote, a classless, crass, and deplorable stunt. Representatives of the acts whose MTV videos have been consigned to little-watched overnight play couldn't immediately be reached by the Los Angeles Times. Label executives declined to comment, although some growled privately that MTV's decision could undercut promotional plans for music acts that had no involvement with the Super Bowl at all. Indeed, for the music industry, what's happening is reminiscent of the period after the September 11th terrorist attacks, when radio and TV broadcasters refrained from airing a wide array of songs that contained violent or politically sensitive lyrics. One music executive said, it absolutely feels like 9-11 programming all over again. To be sure, MTV isn't the only television outlet to examine its practices in the wake of the show. CBS, which broadcasts the Super Bowl and is also owned by Viacom, said it would air last night's Grammy Awards using an enhanced delay to prevent any indecent material from airing. There wasn't any to edit out anyway. A General Electric Company on NBC, a shot of an elderly woman's breast, was uh, it's actually pixelated out, not edited out. It was pixelated out of an episode of ER, which has the producer of ER ripping mad, by the way. 
For its part, MTV previously said it would not air a planned special of the Super Bowl, the making of the Super Bowl stage show. Says here that MTV has tweaked its video airplay in the wake of controversy before. The channel sources say decided against playing clips from R&B crooner R. Kelly on his flagship Total Request Live program in the wake of his 2002 indictment on child pornography charges. Now, um, I don't know. You might have an opinion about this. I'm sure you do. You know, what Janet Jackson did was stupid. But it was not a big deal in the, the context. I mean, what you have going on here is a guy who's running for re-election this year as president of the United States and his uh, FCC chairman who's uh, just out to get anybody he can get. It's the bottom line. And so everybody's running scared. And uh, you know, this idea that MTV now, which is not regulated by the FCC, is going to start running racy videos after 10 o'clock at night. Sorry. I don't agree. And um, I wonder how fans of MTV feel about this. You know, MTV uh, is not a monopoly. You have other music channels that are not owned uh, by the company, uh, including uh, Much Music. And uh, there are others. And, uh, you know, if uh, I have to go to another channel to get uh, videos the way I like. By the way, how many videos does MTV run during the day anyway? Not that many. But uh, do you think this makes sense? Maybe you're happy about this. Maybe you think it's time MTV cleaned up its act. I don't know. Personally, I, I don't uh, happen to agree with it. Would love to hear what you think. Tom, Tom, Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Are you beautiful or not? Yes, I'm beautiful. Really? Are you a 9 or a 10? A 9 or a 10? Yeah. Size? No. On a scale of 1 to 10, oh, you idiot. The Tom Like It Show. Tom Like It Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Mr. Likas, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing today, man? Okay. Uh, yeah, the reason I called was I've been to Europe about 10 or 15 times, man, and television there is radically different. The FCC in this country is a repressed bunch of Puritans, man. Well, it's yeah, the, uh, the FCC is a bunch of repressed Puritans when the president is a conservative. Well, this is true, but... I mean, uh, the, we weren't having these problems in the 90s, I'll tell you that. No, that's true, but I, I also think that, as a whole, the the human body, man, is, is a beautiful thing, and in Europe, they use it in advertising, they use it in everything, and it's, you know, the rape rate there is considerably less than it is in this country because of their lack of repression when it comes to the human body. Well, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, what Janet Jackson did was really stupid, but why should this affect whether Britney Spears is on MTV before 10 o'clock at night? Well, the reason that Janet Jackson did that is because she's got an album coming out on March 3rd. Of course. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying it was stupid uh, because long term it's going to hurt her. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, we, uh, you know, the word is out. This is not uh, a secret that no. uh, when Justin Timberlake appeared on the Grammys, uh, he was told that uh, it, a precondition of his appearing was to give a heartfelt apology on the Grammy Awards. Oh, and I... Janet Jackson's invitation, which had been rescinded, they offered to reinstate it if, he, if she would come on and apologize again or live on the Grammys, and she refused to do it. Yeah, well, that's the choice. You know, she made her choice, and now she's going to have to live with it, unfortunately. But, uh, no, but, it's, but that's the thing. I wish it were only she was going to have to live with it. We're all going to have to live with it. Oh, now. amen, brother. Because now all these other things are starting to happen as a result of it. It's oh, unbelievable. I, I, you know, the cascading effect of any time that this kind of thing goes down is just unbelievable in my mm -hmm. mind. And, you know, I'm out of your target demographic, as it were, but I enjoy listening to you because you preach the truth, my friend. John, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Deidre on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. It's your poor milkshake, too, by Khalees. That... She's taking it. Well, you know what? We don't have the complete list here. Maybe that's on the list. Hey, you have to see her. She is on the. She is on there doing her yeah. damn thing. And now you know what the milkshakes are. Yes, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I, I know, <laughs> and I think that they should pull it. I did. You know what? I felt sorry for Janet until I saw the news last night when she refused to come, and I yeah. forget her. 
She deserves all the black backlash that she's getting. Yeah, well, she does. I mean, uh, it was unnecessary, uh, you know, and it shows just how desperate she was to promote an album after not having one out for five years. Uh, she is so, you know, desperate is what you get with Jermaine Dupri. That's desperate. Yeah, well, you're right yeah, about that. that. Yeah, okay, Tom, you have a good one. Deidre, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Kirsten on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, I just Hi. think that it's pretty interesting that they're going to stop showing these videos during the day, but they show reruns of the real world during the day, and, you know, they got a bunch of naked people in a jacuzzi macking on each other, or they show videos of Beyonce rolling around in a loading dock in little booty shorts and a booby shirt. I got a loading dock for Beyonce right here. And, <laughs> and she just won five Grammys. Yeah, I, I know. Certainly, you know, I don't know that people are that upset about the sexual tone of television these days yeah well uh you know the fact is that uh, all media are more sexualized uh the competition is hotter than ever there's more channels than ever and whatever we can't get on the major networks we will get somewhere else absolutely absolutely and i think that that's just you know that's just the way society is these days it's unfortunate for some people but you know if you know poor you know i feel bad for janet for whatever happened during the super bowl but CBS got a whole bunch of ratings, never mind their few hundred, you know, letters of discontent from some viewers. Well, there were actually, there were 200,000 complaints. That's a lot of complaints. Well, that's true, but there were also millions and millions of people watching it, so. Yeah. I don't know. Well, thank you very much, Tom. You have a good night. Kirsten, you too. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Hey, Okay. Excellent. I, I'm calling from Canada, and I, you know, I got to tell you, Tom, uh, the whole American thing is all I look forward to because we got so much up here. Uh, you guys, sure, you got the FCC. We got, we got our own little thing down. Here. I have my own experience with the CRTC and the CBSC, oh. so I know all about it. Well, you know, they even throw on more to us with this Canadian content thing. And well, it's not just Canadian content; it goes beyond that. Uh, our show was on, as you may know, in Vancouver. Oh, yes. And uh, we went from, uh, the station was last in its demographic in that time slot. The station went from last to first in one rating period. And then when they took our show off, we went. they went back to last. Uh, in, and that was all one fell swoop. And uh, uh, that, that was because we said words on the air like retard. <laughs> so uh, Canada, you've got even less freedom than we have, and our freedom is shrinking. Well, and, and, and what it is for me is now I can't even, you know, go and buy, you know, uh, MTV uh, to watch on my TV. And What about DirecTV? Can you get it on there? Oh, sure. But, I mean, if they're going to start, uh, if they're going to start, you know, cutting the parts out that uh, are, are, are good for, you know, the ratings right. and whatnot, it's just what, what is it to us now? Right. Uh, well, yeah. But you guys got, yeah, do you guys get the unedited Osbournes? Uh, we do. We yeah. do get the unedited Osborne. Yeah. Only though, if we if we get it on the on the satellite, you know, they they uh, if they do show it on uh, our television stations down here, it's yeah. edited to the point where you know Ozzy is nothing more than Clay Aiken. No, that's bad. Yeah, that's very very it's not bad. Worth it. Well, you're not kidding about that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's uh, Chuck on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, how's it going? I'm okay, Chuck. All right, hey. Um, I want to talk about the Janet Jackson. Remember about 20 years ago, give or take, when Prince was on stage and he bared his butt? Yes. How come there was no repercussions for that? I mean, there was... Who was the president back then? <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So I just want to say, you know, I would rather see Janet Jackson's breast than Prince's ass, you know? Well, uh, that's true. That's certainly how I feel about it. So, well, that was, that was just uh, my take on it. So I just, you know... Have a nice day. I'm just glad that uh, Prince did not show his ass on the Grammy Awards. There you go. I mean, what is he, 50 now? Please, don't, don't, yes, yes, put sir. it back and, in your pants. That's right, and sagging. Right. All right, well, can you take me out, Kobe style? Here you go, Chuck. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Kate Faber, please report to the Laker locker room. Kate Faber, please report to the Laker locker room. 1-800-5800-TOM, Juliet on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. 
Guess what? What? This is my opinion about the whole Janet Jackson thing. Okay. Yeah. If nobody is comfortable with a woman's breast, they should have changed the damn channel and not watched the football game. I mean, I'm sorry. It's a woman's body. I don't see what the big deal is. I, I really, I am amazed. Other countries are laughing their ass off at us. Oh, By the way, are you aware that in uh, Argentina, for example, uh, they have been showing this clip of Janet Jackson over and over without any pixelation at all? I mean, they've been showing it on the news, and they're laughing at us. We're a bunch of morons. I know. I mean, and then, you know, the European people, Paris, France, all those people over there, they're showing their body parts on TV, and why has the U.S. got to be so Puritan and Quaker-like people? I mean, it's ridiculous. I was I concerned mean, on the Grammys that Christina Aguilera showed her face. And by the way, Christina, get out of the tanning booth already. What no, is she really? doing there? What you is she doing? Uh, uh, come on. You can only get so black. Stop it. Jesus. Juliet, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Gabe on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right, Gabe. Um, I want to comment on the Janet Jackson thing. Yeah. I think they're totally blowing this out of proportion, Tom. In Europe, uh, there's naked women, naked men, even all over the television, on the news, uh, on the commercials, on, for, for the soap, for the shampoos. They, they show the naked bodies every single day. Right. And, and over here, uh, they'll even show... Uh, a boob or a, with a, a nipple being blocked out on covers of magazines. What's the big deal about showing the nipple, you know? I, I don't know. Oh, my God, what would happen then if they showed nipples on TV? Where What would happen to society? I know, seriously. Everyone knows what a nipple looks like anyway, right? I would hope. I would hope so, too, if they don't, if they need to get out more or order more pay-per-view. I know Jennifer Aniston knows what a nipple looks like. <laughs> oh, 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 she definitely knows what a nipple looks like. <laughs> All right, Tom, can I get out with the bong hit? Here you go, Gabe. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, man. Chris. Yeah. Oh, it's good to get in and talk to you, man. You are the savior of the Dallas radio airwaves. Thank man. you. Uh, let me tell you, this whole thing about the MTV, I have never been a fan. I have to tell you, I think video and music are two separate things and should consider to be separated. You just have to look at the programming on MTV to know that that's true. And uh, uh, back when they censored Beavis and Butthead, when they uh, took that excellent cartoon and just started taking all the fire out of Mike Judge's writing there, yeah. uh, people should have known that, that that it's going downhill. That it, it, it's never, you know, it's never really going to, never going to work out. Well, MTV is becoming what it was supposed to be a reaction against, which was yeah, exactly uh, corporate exactly. rock, corporate programming. Yeah, it, it, that's, it, that's what it's become. Yeah, and they just want to keep on, just like the rest of the media, pumping fear into us and yeah. keep us consuming stuff and. Uh, it's, uh, your caller from Canada was pretty interesting a little earlier. I think he's got a pretty good pulse on what's going on here in America. And uh, as far as the Janet Jackson thing, man, uh, you remember when the Sex Pistols were throwing up in airports back in the 70s? I certainly do. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles to 1-800-5800-TOM. How different are we from other countries? Take a look at this. In England, huge ratings for a TV show over the last two weeks as a scantily clad model named Jordan paraded her surgically enhanced breasts in a reality TV show set in the Australian jungle. The tabloids have devoted acres of newsprint to Jordan's ample attributes, says this story from Reuters. Even Queen Elizabeth is reported to be a keen fan of and, see, by the way, we they they adapted this show for the United States. It's called, get this, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. That's right. The British are amused by Jordan. There you go. And they're um, laughing at us for this Janet Jackson thing. Laughing at us. Alice on the Tom Likas show. Tom, um, I think they're making a big deal about what's going on with Janet Jackson. Yes. In the MTV Music Awards, they showed a guy licking in between Janet Jackson, I mean, in between Pink's legs twice, and they never said anything about it. They never commented about it. They were just talking about what a great performance.
performance Beyonce had instead. Interesting. And I, I think they should just let it go. I mean, it happens. It's part of it's part of life. It's natural. I mean, it's it's normal. I think everybody should be around to see it. I mean, kids are gonna know what you know what's about anyways. They watch TV on the com- the cartoons these days. It's even worse. This whole thing is so stupid. It's so embarrassing. It's it is. It's, and it's got everybody running scared. It's it's so ridiculous. It's like I said. It's I mean, if you watch the cartoons these days on regular TV. They're cussing on the TV. They're, you know, showing things that they shouldn't show. I mean, in one of the Simpsons, I mean, Marge got her boobs done, and she showed it to everybody else, and they didn't make a big deal about it. I don't think they should make a big deal. Well, they got away with it because it was a cartoon. Uh, and that's, a, that's a, uh, you, know, I, you know what? If, if you can do cartoons, how about the topless Pocahontas on the wonderful world of Disney? We'd all love to see that. Exactly. That, that would be a spankathon. I don't know about other people, but uh, I'd be all over that. He's a great show, Tom. So, Tom, he rules. Thank you, Alice. My husband, my husband said you rule. Thank him, too. He said thank you. Oh, anytime. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. This is Shane on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Are you there, Shane? Hey, I, no- I normally would give you a uh, long uh, hello, Tom, but uh, right now I'm a little bit concerned about the situation with America and this Janet Jackson episode. Yeah. Uh, my own take, uh, I saw the Super Bowl. I, of course, I watched the halftime special. Personally, it went in, into my brain when uh, the situation happened, but it did not go into my brain until the 11 o'clock news because I sat there and I saw, I thought, well, heck, did she just do that? Nah, she couldn't have. But when the 11 o'clock news showed on, came on, I knew about it. When I went on the Internet, I knew about it. So really, Janet Jackson didn't show me it. It was 11 o'clock news on the Internet. Another situation is about other countries' sexuality versus the United States of America's sexuality. I mean, you know and I know that America's tied up for a little breast. America is, America is the land of denial. This is it's the like land where we eat fat-free food while we get fatter. Yeah. It's the land where we say we don't allow nudity on TV, but we've got rampant Absolutely teenage... Sexuality, teenage pregnancy, uh, STDs. Yeah. Uh, we've but, got uh, people giving birth at 11 years old. Absolutely. The, the whole country is like this. Is, yes. Is, uh, violence with video games that these kids who are 13, 12 years old are getting and mimicking these uh, warriors who are blowing off people's heads off. It's okay to blow off someone's head uh, right next to each other, but you can't see a little. Well, I couldn't even put that word on the air because that's the way it is. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Adam on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Just doing a radio show here, Adam. All right, man. Hey, listen, I got a pretty good little statistic for you. Um, they estimated what about eighty nine million people watched the Super Bowl, and uh, about two hundred thousand complained about it. That's less than one percent of the viewers. Oh, that's right. But you know what? Sometimes it takes one complaint to get. Uh... Yeah. To, to have uh, trouble cause. That's the way it works. The uh, minority outdoes the majority. That's the way it works. Exactly. I mean, if I, if I had a product and less than 1% of the people didn't like it, I think I got a freaking, you know, cash cow right here. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, and I just want to know how long the 90% of the population of America is going to get pushed around by the less than 1%. Well, because, uh, you know, what? most of the people who are concerned about this stuff don't vote, don't pay attention, don't care. Yeah. That's why. So it's just, that just irritates me. The people who vote are also the people who object to seeing breasts on TV. Exactly. That's the reason. Hey, can you take me out of JFK style? Senior or junior, Adam? Senior. That's my boy from Dallas. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. We'll break it down for him. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 866. You are on top of your game, my friend. On top of your game. Thank you. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Emmanuel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what up, Tom? How you doing? I'm okay, Emmanuel. That's good, that's good. Dude, I think uh, Justin Timberlake's a little fag for apologizing for something he actually meant to do. Um, that whole thing, man. I look... Yeah, does anybody believe that was an accident? And does anybody really believe Justin Timberlake didn't know about it? Man, honestly, when he ripped it off, when he ripped that little shirt off, or whatever it was, I mean, all we saw was one 
Anyways, we see us on NYPD Blue. Why can't we see it? Super Bowl. Well, we, you know, first of all, we can't say that word on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. Now you said it twice. Okay. Uh, it's one of the words you can't say. All right. Or her breast. Right. All right. But, uh, I mean, and plus you look at her breast anyways. I saw it in slow motion. It looks like a tablet. Well, doesn't plus, like so it. much of TV is women coming on with big breasts, TV commercials with breasts, beer yeah, commercials yeah. with breasts, yeah. and, and some little piece of fabric over the breast. How does that? I don't get it. I don't understand this morality at all, yeah. at all. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's, I think it's just blown out of proportion. You go to Europe, you see breasts every day on even commercials, you know what I mean? And now everyone's just, you know, upset about seeing Janet Jackson's breasts on the Super Bowl. I mean, I was I was stoked to see her breast, you know, even if there is a tassel on it. And plus, when he ripped it off, I mean, we just saw one one breast anyways. We didn't see both, you know what I mean? So. Well, yeah, how much worse would that have been if we saw two breasts at the same time? Exactly, man. Wow. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, what can you do? It's life. Yeah, but I, I uh, understand. Uh, Jimmy on the Tom Like It Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jimmy. How's it going, man? Pretty damn good. All right. First off, I like to say, as a true conservative, as a true conservative, I am opposed to censorship. Uh, I am in favor of breasts. Well, well uh, conservatives love to say, by the way, may I say, uh, while yeah. you're mentioning politics here, which I don't really talk about, but um, it's, it's funny how conservatives love to say, how they are for less government and less government interference. Oh, but when it comes to looking at breasts on TV, they believe in the full force of the government. Well, well uh, they really don't believe in smaller government. They believe in the government controlling the things they want the government to control. Well, in other words, people who want to pollute lakes, rivers, and streams, uh, don't. Uh, we need smaller government. When people want to show a breast on television, oh boy, the government's going to come down like the Pentagon. All right. There you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. Juan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Okay. All right. I just wanted to interject a little bit on this whole Janet situation. I think that um, it, the whole thing is being blown up way entirely too much. Yeah. And I agree with the callers who are saying or who are agreeing with me that it was it's blown up. I mean, she obviously is not didn't do it for, for publicity's sake, in my opinion, because if she did, she would be on Entertainment Tonight. She would be on every talk show, trying to be in a limelight right before her album came out. So I think that the people are wrong in saying that she's doing it for just as a stunt. Well, she yeah. said she did it as a stunt. Well, she, well, I mean, she admitted it. Right, she, she admitted it. that it was. She said it was supposed to be a, a costume reveal, which isn't exactly a stunt. Well, whatever that means. Right. Well, but, but I think the whole point is that people are making it seem like it's, are, are blowing it up entirely. Well, why did she apologize? Because she she felt that you know it was maybe it was wrong to, you know to have her breast out in front of like of eighty nine million people. But my thing, well, is, you know, the point is she's trying to have her cake and eat it too. Well, I didn't plan this, but I'm very sorry I did it, well, my, and I'm very sorry I planned it without MTV, CBS, or the NFL knowing about it. No, so I'm sorry I made this change. Nobody knew about it, but I didn't intend for it to happen. But I planned it, but I changed it. You know what? None of this makes sense. No, and 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 it's, it's being it's getting carried away. It really is because you know. Well, I think that you know all of us who are fans of hers, we all you know know what you know. We know what she, how 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 she how her shows are and what she does and how she performs. And this performance was just another for us. It was just another you know part of her career that is just. You know, of the pinnacle, and you know, I think that another yeah. her album's coming out, and we're all you know. Well, you know, when Madonna started showing her breasts in that book that she put out, that was right. the beginning of the end right. of Madonna. And no, and no longer, I mean, people made a big, a big hubbub about that, but it right. died down. And I think well, it died down, but so did Madonna's career. Eventually, she was marginalized into that uh, that stratosphere with Cher and other groups that appear, or other individuals right. who appear to the who appeal to the gay community. Uh, but as far as uh, mass appeal, Madonna doesn't have that in this country anymore. No, and I think that there comes a point in everyone's career when you sort of level out and you don't have what you sold in the first... Yeah, but in some cases what happens is you're, you're, you're getting desperate to promote yourself and you don't know what's left to do because you've done everything and done everything shocking you can do. So you take it that one last step, and I think that's the last step before you step off a cliff. Well, well I think I, that's I, what happened to Madonna, and I think that's what's going to happen to Janet Jackson. But I think people, when, when I think when they say that, you know, it, it was desperate and her career is waning or it's pretty much over. She hasn't I made think, an album in five years. Three years. Whatever it is. It's a right. long time. 
But, I mean, you know, she's still having number one records, number one singles, you know, so that, to me, isn't waning or tapering off. That's, wow. You know, she's been in a limelight for all I, her life. I think this is going to be the beginning of the end for her. I really do. And it's not that I, I, I don't acknowledge what she's accomplished. She was uh, very big for many years, but uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. And, well, uh, you know, they all have an end. Madonna, everyone thought, would never end, and Madonna is, is toast. Toast. You think? Oh, are you? Madonna is now in in the United States. Madonna is now limited to being on uh, jukeboxes in gay dance clubs, along with Judy Garland, Liza Minnelli, and Bette Midler. I think that the only share. Thing, what's going to happen? Have to happen is that time will tell. Madonna looks like Britney Spears' grandmother by now. You have you seen that turkey neck, please? <laughs> Well, uh, well I, I like I love Madonna too. I love them both, but I think as far as you're like, not gay, are you? I'm just checking. Right, right. No. All right, just checking. I, th I think Tom will tell though. I think Tom will. Can you uh, name Madonna's last hit record? Her last hit record? Yeah. I can't remember. Okay. But so, uh, what are you a fan of exactly? I think Tom will tell. As far as what has she done for us lately? Well, Madonna. Yeah. She's had a couple of hit records. Can you uh, name one? Her, her, her hit record? Yeah, well, a, a hit in the 21st century. Let's start with that. Uh, I can't really think. Music. Her last album, the one before this one. It was it, it was like a couple of years ago. Yeah. Do you know any straight people who bought? Yeah, sure do. You do? Oh yeah. You didn't. <laughs> You're Thank a fan. You know. Thank, Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. More of your telephone calls are coming up. Tom, 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 like it. Tom, like it. Like it. Like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. So everything men do is tied directly to whether they're gonna get laid or not. It's tied directly to our members. Now it is everything. It's the Tom Like It Show. The Tom Like It Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Lenny on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Oh. You know, I have to say, I'm so sick of all the censorship that's coming in the aftermath of everything that happened with the Super Bowl. Yes. If I personally was a celebrity, I would go out there with all of my celebrity friends, go topless, put a bunch of pasties on my nipples, and protest. In well, front any of women who want to come down to the studio and show <laughs> their discontent with what's happening with the Grammys, with the Super Bowl, with television, want to come down and show your breasts on the radio, we will be happy to accommodate that because we are tired of it ourselves. <laughs> Just personally, outside of the, uh, the Grammys, I would have done it if I was a celebrity. If I was Janet Jackson, I, I would have done it again. They just need to get over it. It's their just breath. Yes, I agree with you. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Letty. It's Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. What's going on, buddy? I'm doing okay. Hey, man. You know, I'm so sick of this uh, Janet Jackson crap. Personally, you know, if you want to show your breast on television... There's pay-per-view for that. You know, I, I agree America's censorship laws are way too out of whack, but, you know, the more publicity that we give this situation, the more we talk about it on television, on radio, in the newspapers, you know, the more it's going to happen because people realize that they're just going to get the attention. If it's something that the American public really wants to keep off of the airwaves, don't talk about it. Just let it go. Yeah, but the, the people aren't going to do that. Uh, no, I agree with you. I mean, because a lot of the people out there, with the exception of the likest listeners... I mean, this week there are congressional hearings about stuff like this. It's, it's just ridiculous. The majority of people out there, they've got too much time on their hands. It was a boob, for God's sake. You know? Your yeah. mom has them, your wife has them, your girlfriend has them, and your daughter's going to end up having them. It's part of life. Right. Just let it go. Exactly. Thank you, Tom. Man, no worries. Could you take me out JFK Jr. style? Of course I can. Here you go. <laughs> Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Nice to talk to you. We love your show, my husband and I. Thank you. There's two things that I disagree with and the problem that I find with this. I have kids, and we were all watching the Super Bowl. Number one is that the context of the song and how they ripped off, or how Justin Timberlake ripped off her top. There's a problem with that. With the song and just saying, I'm going to have you naked by the end of this song, I didn't need the 15 year old and the 13 year old and the 8 year old and the 6 year old to watch that. There's why, 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 what uh, damage did that cause? It, the 14 year old, they think it's okay. It's not okay. They think what's okay? Ripping, having a guy rip your clothes off. 
Well, uh, I, I, I beg to differ. I, I think that uh, you probably had your clothes ripped off. I know I've ripped some clothes off in my time. But that doesn't make it. It is okay. okay. It's not okay. Janet Jackson's an adult, so here's, is Justin Timberlake. The problem, though, we didn't have the choice in whether we had our kids watch that or not. Well, you just said they said I'm going to have you naked before the end of this song. That might we have been the time to tune out. Have, we didn't have a choice whether to let. It's different if it's on MTV and our kids don't watch MTV. You could have it's simply turned the channel. That, how how do I know it's going to happen? She the said uh, there, there was a there was it's a phrase. A a there, there was a phrase, I've got to have you naked before the end of this song. Yeah, so, there's so a lot of different songs that you were say, warned. I'm going to have you naked, I'm going to, you know, do you whatever. Oh, but I don't understand what the problem is. You know what? Your kids have seen all this stuff on the Internet. They've seen it in school. Uh, they, they've seen it. In fact, how old are your kids? 14, 15? No, I have a friend's child that was 15. And a son uh, that believe was me, she's had five. sex already. Trust me. <laughs> That would be sad. Someone's torn her. But maybe you think it's sad, dear, but that's the reality of the world. That's it. That really is.